Welcome to Fun with QShell, Episode 5. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a utility called wget. This would be used to download files from the internet directly to your IBM i system. So there's a couple of prereqs you're going to need on your system. Let's take a look at those. It would be 5733 OPS, base, and option 7. And there is a, a PTF group for it as well, an individual PTF for that particular utility wget is SI 63051 currently um, so you'll need to have that installed okay let's go ahead and jump into QShell I'm gonna download my media to a location called downloads so I'll just CD to that place because wherever you're at that's where it's gonna put the files downloads okay so how do you get the URLs well, through your web browser, unfortunately. But um, you can do this for PTF orders, OS images, HMC media, system firmware. Um, I'm going to look at the HMC media right now because that one's a little easier. The, the URL is pretty standard. Um, IBM keeps it nice and simple for us. If you go to public.dhe.ibm.com and then from there go to servers. Check that URL here quick. Servers, software, servers, HMC. And then I always choose the network location and then your version of the HMC code. Type of HMC. Okay, let's pick this file here because you can see it's a pretty small file to test with. So to get the URL, you just right click on it and copy link address. Let me go back to our green screen. And we run wget and paste in the URL. And all you gotta do is hit enter. There it goes. We have the file. Pretty cool. But there's some more stuff we can do with this utility. Um, interactively, it downloads the way that you just saw. But there's also a way to kind of submit it to batch or as a child thread. So if you put in uh, no help wget the address, throw a percent at the end it did it you just didn't see it let me pick one of the URLs for a bigger file we'll copy this one here just call that command up again okay so that file is going to be pretty big so let's see um, let's see it running. So I'm going to do a PS and pipe it to grep for wget. And this gives us the the process ID that it's running. And if you want to kill that process or end it, you, know, you could log off and kill your active session, or you could just run a command called kill and then enter this PID number 297. So then if we PS for it again, you can see it's gone. Now, it did download part of that file, so let's go take a look at it. So we have this no help out, out file. If we display that, you can see it gives you some pretty cool feedback in here. You know, what percentage the thing is at and how fast it's going. And the ETA for it to download it. So it would be about 10 minutes to download that 2 gig file from my home connection which isn't super fast. Um, and you can do multiple of these at the same time, so if you're really in a time crunch and you want to download an entire OS set, um, you could get it down pretty quick. So what I would do, I would pull this command back up, and I'll show you how to get the URLs for some of the OS stuff at the end, so people already know how to do that, don't have to, don't have to watch that. Um, but I've already gone ahead and copied the URLs here. This would be for you know the B groups one, two, three, four, and five. You can see that in the I base is up above. So I'm gonna the URLs for are a lot longer, and I need to remove the word wrap on here. So 
there's one of them. And then what I would do is just go get the next address. Do all of these at the same time. Like I said, if you're in time crunch, it's cool. You can also do wildcards, although with this particular URL, it wouldn't permit for a wildcard, but the HMC address would, because um, that's all in the same directory. You could just put an asterisk at the end, and it would download all the files there. Okay, so let's do our PS and pipe it to grep for wget. We should see two of them there now. There they are. I don't want to burn all my bandwidth, so I'm going to kill those. file again. And when we get to the bottom here you should see these intermingling between the two files. The outlooks look kind of funky sometimes. <laughs> um, the URL is just too long for it to wrap there but you can see there's group 1 image and group 2 mixed in together and they're at different percents. So it, it is able to handle that which is pretty cool. Alright so if you're a traditional IBM iFolk and you've got a zip file in your IFS right now, that normally wouldn't help you a whole lot. Uh, there is a way to unzip it by default. Um, I happen to have stored one here just to play with. Um, this iBase file I downloaded last night so we can practice unzipping it. So um, there's a pretty cool URL or a web page someone wrote about the jar utility. I'll post a link to that somewhere in the notes, but uh, the command to unzip this I'm going to use is jar xf and then the file name. And that'll unpack that zip file. And now it's a .udf, which you could rename to .iso or .bin, whatever you're used to, or you can just leave it at a UDF, add it into an image catalog, and you're good to go. All right. Um, I'm going to start jumping through some of the print screens now on how to get the uh, URLs for a couple different types of media. So if you're already familiar with that and don't want to watch, now would be a good time to exit. Okay, so uh, I wanted to give kudos, shout outs to a uh, company that created a utility I use called Greenshot to capture these very quickly and easily. Uh, it's freeware, doesn't cost anything, real simple to set up, took me two minutes to get set up and working. Um, so you log into ESS site, this would be for OS download media. I'm not going to mention everything here, so you just pick what you want and once you hit I agree Instead of hitting download now like you normally would, click this click here to use HTTP. And that'll give you a list of all the different file names. Uh, you just right click on any of them and do that copy link. And then you can paste that into your text file. Do the same thing for all the other ones you want. Then you can use your wget utility to download them all. Um, that one, one sec. Um, for HMC, well, we just looked at that. Let's do uh, PTFs. Go to Fix Central. Pick your options. Log in. Add machine type serial. Pick a group. Place your order. Pick whichever cumin groups you want. I use the naming convention C for cumulative and T for which TR it is. Make sure you put your email and select this download virtual images using FTP. And when you're done with that, you'll get an email that contains this link right here. So you would do your wget to that address, and at the end of the capital C, you just do a slash asterisk, and it'll download all the files. Alright, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.